Hey there, YTPC, New Jersey Piper Ben here. It is a little after 7 p.m. I am in Nanowit, New York. At a hotel. Why am I at a hotel in Nanowit, New York? Because this is the closest operable hotel I could find that accepted pets. And uh, apparently the tropical storm, I say ice, ice, your ass, my ass, everybody's ass, um, something ass, tropical storm just completely uh, wreaked havoc in Jersey. Uh, like pretty much direct hit. The eye went directly over my house basically. And just to qualify, it's not like death and destruction. Some power poles fell and our power went out Tuesday at about, I don't know, 11.45, noonish, somewhere in that time frame. And uh, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. It, it lasted for about an hour and a half of wind gusts and rain. Um, tree, trees falling, branches flying around, whatnot, the normal stuff. But um, apparently the, the power outages were quite, were quite widespread. And apparently pretty much the entire town was just uh, out of power after that. And now it's the waiting game. Where's the power company? Why aren't they here yet? Why aren't they fixing anything? Telephone, the power pole at the end of my street's been sitting there broken for, you know, three days now, basically. Um, and I guess it's a matter of resources. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but the townsfolk are furious with the power company. Apparently their reputation is horrible. As an example, the, the neighboring town or one of the neighboring towns uses a different power company and they were only out for maybe a few hours maybe a day at the most and they're up and running normal everything's fine our power company is nowhere to be found and you know again prioritization yes we understand that but apparently the infrastructure has just never been upgraded around there the substations are always having issues they really need to bury the power lines. You know, I was talking to my parents in South Carolina. They said they buried the power lines in their town years ago because that's the smart thing to do when you have stuff, when you're dealing with weather type issues like this. So, so my best guess is maybe by tomorrow night, based on what I'm reading on the town Facebook pages and other comments from other people that are following it. We'll see what happens. I basically broke down and found a hotel that would, again, take our dog. I've been going back to the house, and the cats are doing fine. I'm checking on them, but they're doing fine. Luckily, it hasn't been too crazy hot. Um, but I have, I have sleep apnea. So I, I literally can't sleep without a, a CPAP breathing machine that helps me sleep. Um, otherwise, I'll just I'll be waking up constantly, and it's a it's pretty much a torturous sort of a experience. So I never go anywhere without my CPAP. And it's been something I've dealt with since I think like 2007. But once I got the machine and I got diagnosed and everything, it was it was fantastic. It was life changing. Because I had a really bad case of sleep apnea. Apologies for the noise. I'm directly beside a four-lane highway. Lots of business around, so, yeah. Um, quick housekeeping. Having some smoking pipes. 20th anniversary light flake in my Savinelli Trevi 111. Still love that light flake it's great great stuff but yeah that's what i've been up to for the last few days it's a pain in the butt 
I was like, I would have been spending the money by now anyway with trips to see my parents in the mountains, you know, supposed to go to Ireland, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I would have been spending the money anyway, but COVID kind of put the kibosh on that. So, yeah. And I tell you what, it feels nice to take a nice hot shower. That's for sure. But yeah. Anywho, hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully this mess will be cleared up by the weekend. Uh, I have no idea. Like the, the power company website literally said they plan to have the majority of customers back online by August 11th at 11.30 p.m. And this happened Tuesday, which was the 4th, I believe. So yeah, seven days for a fairly mild tropical storm that lasted for an hour and a half. I tell you what, I'm glad it wasn't that bad. If it was a major hurricane that, you know, can sometimes just sit there and churn over a location for hours, yeah, apparently we would just get knocked back into the dark ages. I don't know how long that would take to fix, but it's just, it's, it's utterly ridiculous. It, it, there's really no excuse for it whatsoever. I respect linemen. I respect people that do that work, people that clear trees, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, no doubt. I mean, that's, um, you know, obviously prideful, wonderful work that people do. But, you know, in this, this, this power company is not some mom and pop operation. They, they, they are part of a big conglomerate. And I looked it up, I looked up their financial records. They're basically like an $11 billion company from a revenue POV. So yeah, they've got the resources to, to come in here and, and upgrade the infrastructure so that stuff like this isn't so devastating for so long. So yeah, there's really no excuse. So no love lost at all. I hope the town, you know, the town council, the mayor can do something about getting, kicking them out and bringing a better company in. There's a, there's a local, there's a competitor that is nearby, like I mentioned, that does much better work and, with stuff like this so I don't see why it would be an issue but I don't know about such stuff I just know the current situation is stupid but yeah all right take care guys be excellent to each other